everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well if you haven't been here before my name is julie also known as mrs england's emporium i am a reseller and this channel is all about my life as a reseller what goes on what i buy what i sell i'll take you along with me to car boots to sales to all the places that i go charity shops a lot and i'll show you what i buy and how much i sell it for Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you enjoy the video, consider giving me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Why not? It's free. And you will be notified about future videos if you hit the bell. So, um, yeah, well, I've got a few things to show you today. Some interesting stuff, so stay tuned. I can't speak. I am extremely hungover. My head is banging. <laughs> had some painkillers it hasn't made any difference whatsoever so yeah should be a fun one today so let's get into it <laughs> Six. Yeah, I'll have that. Can you pay the lady, please? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah, nice. They do feel, won't they? They're no good. Yeah. How much is your one? Well, it's kind of it's okay. How about your shades? Is he old? Yeah. I don't want the I don't want the Vivian Westwood ones, but they're the ones you showed me, aren't they? What, yeah. What about these? Four. Four. Eight and four. Yeah, I love those. And then what about your glasses? I want four, maybe. And three pairs. Yes, please. <laughs> you called, you called, you you called me a kept woman, so I thought I'd get you to pay. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Got 
pound each way. Would you do a deal if I bought a few? See how much money I've got. <laughs> Is he a monster high? Yeah. I haven't seen him before. Quite a lot of these are. There's a few that are. Yeah. As a kid, I just thought, you know what, I'll fleece my mum and dad by all of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. I haven't seen the boy ones before. I actually don't know where I found that. So I was going to do them today. I think you're wearing them now. You forget what you've got there, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's nice. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, I'm messing up your stall, I'm so sorry. Okay. Let's go for get lost in the back of it. She's pretty decent condition. She's nice, isn't she? I love her hair. I found a barber the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Right, okay. Oh, she's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> what is like the icing on? Yeah. Thank you very much. I don't even know how much money we've got, so I might have to put some back. But what I'll do is I'll see how much you want from first. And then, um, yeah, look at me, I'm like, half the basket, all the basket, near enough. Hey, there is to be sold, though. So. Yeah. She's one, because I've had her before. Oh, yeah. She all right. Oh, yeah. She's good, she's good. We'll put them back there, yeah. She's one, isn't she? Yeah, she's, there's more than one of her, because she's yeah. a different version of her. Right, okay. So how many we got? One, yeah. two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and those. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, you give me a price and I'll see if I can do it. <laughs> right, $23. Yes. And those. And the accessories, what do you reckon? Hang on. 30 quid. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Is that yeah. 30 quid for the lot? Yeah. I'll yeah. Well. Are you sure? Is that okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you sure, no, I'm saying? Yeah. Some of them are. Honestly, take your pick up. Thirty quid for. I'll do thirty. I'll, I'll leave them for you because right. then you can get more money for those. But yeah, I'll do thirty quid for those. Yeah. yeah? Thank you. Right. Let's get some money off them. <gasps> Babe, I need thirty pound. Thirty. I've got some. CDs. Not allowed to look at them, am I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see them on the last Thursday before last. Oh, they were brilliant. They are good, aren't they? Yeah. 79 is on this. It's running about like this. Yeah. It's about the same as Mick Jagger, isn't it? Yeah, it's about the same as Mick Jagger, isn't it? Yeah, it's about the same as Mick Jagger, isn't it? Yeah, it's about
families in it now, so good point. But it did take us probably about 10 years ago for, for a lunch at the school tonight, because I never could have been. to get some footage from the tabletop sale we went to. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was a small haul. There was about one, two, three, four, five, six, six stalls, I believe. That's it. And we spent, I think, over a hundred pound. But the stuff's really good. Some of it I need to test, but I do trust who we bought it off because we knew the lady from a charity shop we go to she volunteers there so she went and got a table she paid gave the money went to the epilepsy tra charity and then um everything that she sold on her stall was for her a bit like doing a car boot really anyway i got some really cool stuff so let me show you what i got right so here it is we got all this we did buy some wallets as well but the wallets unfortunately turned out to be fake um, I think there's a Gucci one, a Versace one, but they, they were fake when we got them home. But we got them in a bundle of stuff. So basically what is on this table works out at about £4 each, which is what we're going to go with for the video purpose. Um, so obviously some things we wouldn't have paid £4 each for, but some things are worth a lot more. So it kind of evens out. And then I've got this huge bag of monster high dolls and accessories i'm really excited about this i'm not going to go for all the drop at all no, 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 no. <laughs> sorry guys dear me i'm not going to go for all the dolls individually because i don't want to bore you all um i may do some tiktoks on these though so if you want to see what i got there's two things you can do you can either look on my tiktok you can look on my instagram because when i list things i put pictures on there or you can follow my eBay shop and when I upload them on there, you'll see how much I'm listing them for and what I got. So yeah, I paid £30 for these. The girl was lovely. She was about my middle, age, my middle daughter's age. And yeah, she wanted £4 each for them in, in the beginning. I think I got all the negotiating on camera. So I'll have to, you'll have to forgive me if I'm going over ground here because I think I got it on camera, but I don't know how, you know, the background noises and stuff yet. So you may not hear it. But yeah, basically she wanted £4 each. And I said to her, if, if I buy a load of them, will you do me a deal? And she went, oh, oh yeah. So I went through the basket, as you'll see on the footage, you will see that. I don't know how good the footage is though. So you might just see a lot of handwork. But I basically picked out about 20 dolls and a bag of accessories, which she pointed out to me, which I didn't even see. And I said to her, right, OK. So I said, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to see how much money I've got. So you tell me how much you want and I'll see if I've got the money. If I haven't got the money, I'll put some back. So she was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Anyway, this other lady come over and sort of intervened and she was like, oh, how about £30 for all of these and all of the ones that was left in the basket? Now, the stuff that was left in the basket was like Disney dolls and dolls that I wasn't really interested in. I mean, there probably were some good ones in there, but these were the ones I wanted. And I could see the girl was a bit apprehensive about taking 30 for those and the dolls in the basket as well. So I said, I'll tell you what, I said, I am happy to pay £30 for these because she was originally charging me £4 each, which was going to be, oh gosh, I can't even do that math. 20 times four, that'd be £80 without a discount. So I was thinking she was going to charge me probably around £50, £60 for these, which I probably would have paid. I mean, I'd have had to get Rob to go to the cash machine so we didn't have that money, but I probably would have paid that. And she was like, £30. So I said, I'll tell you what, I said, I will happily pay £30 for these and you can keep the other ones because someone else might buy those and you can get a bit more money. And she was like, oh, thank you, that's great, yeah. So I was like, brilliant. So Rob had to go to the cash machine anyway because I only had £15 left at this point. So he went off to the cash machine and I paid her for these when he got back. So yeah, really happy. Um, You know, I do well with Monster High. I love it. I love researching them. She said some of them were a little bit on the tatty side, but I don't see it. I think they're all pretty good. I mean, doll's hair does get a bit matted over time. So, yeah. Right, well, so we'll move on to what's on the table. These lamps aren't anything um, spectacular, these two. Um, this one's a home base one, this desk lamp. And the other one, I can't remember what it is, but I just really like them. 
anyway yeah works out at four pound each i need to test them which i probably will do on camera but i've got no reason to think that these won't work same with this one four pound now i bought this first and i just saw it and i loved it it is so nice but again i need to test it but yeah three really nice lamps there really happy with those then i've got this pair of ugg slippers i think they are or you could probably get away with using them as ballet pumps um really nice i do believe they're authentic again four pounds i won't keep saying four pounds because you know it's four pound each 1998 one ball of wimbledon i was singing this the other day that's the funny thing about £3 it each. oh three pound each sorry these are three they're all three pound each dear lord that's not including the monster high dolls by the way so yeah three pound each 1998 one ball of wimbledon i don't know which one ball this is i'll have to do some research on him but yeah love him I've got this amazing jewellery box. Now, I don't know whether this is worth anything. It's not actual metal. It's got like a metal, like almost tin overlay on it. And um, there's like a little catch here and you open it up, look, velvet inside. And then it's got these like little trays that pull out. I think that's really cool. I mean, it is quite tinny. And like I say, this is definitely a stick on metal like sheeting shall we say um but i do like it i think it's really nice three pounds for that definitely worth more than three i've got these cameras so this is a samsung digimax s500 um 5.1 pixel yeah these these go for about 15 pounds so three pound for that and then this one in here um i can't remember what this one is so i'm gonna have to try and um oh thank you i'm gonna have to try and open this up one-handed here we go it comes in a case anyway so that's always good and i don't know what's in that pocket right second here we are da, da, da. here we go see these all need testing as well this is a nikon cool pix 5600 or 5600 um or 5600 um, it is a, I can't remember what pixel this is. I think it's only a small pixel. I can't see on it at the moment where it says what it is. But yeah, um, these will go in, again, I think about 15 to 20. So that was good. Um, there's been a couple of things added to the table, which I'll show you in a minute, because I completely forgot about them. Rob had them in there. This lovely little vintage doll. I mean, it's got bits out of it. It's been glued. It's a bit of a mess. Wouldn't have normally paid £3 for this, but like I say, it's only an average price. And this one here, I don't know why she's got sellotape around her head. I'm hoping her hair isn't like going to fall off when that comes off. But yeah, just I love old dolls. I can't leave them behind. She has like the old vintage Barbie face. Now, I don't think she is a Mattel because she's quite small, as you can see, but I'll have to do some um, do some research on her. We've got this Casio TV, for, um, TV 470 LCD colour television. Now, it does turn on. We have had that turned on with batteries, but it doesn't pick up anything because obviously it'll be analogue. Um, now, I don't know whether people still buy these or whether it could be used as a prop but still pretty cool we've got a versace perfumes um this is for um an airline i can't remember which one it is now but yeah it's got like um i think it's got socks and a and a mask inside it an eye mask for sleeping we've also got this casio um 3.2 megapixels and what what is the male model of this one i don't even know i think that's it there isn't it Exilm, <laughs> don't, don't make fun of me. It's an SMC Penmax zoom lens as well. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I think this one's worth about 20. Then we've got these dolls. <laughs> Love these dolls. I think she has a lovely face. My daughter Haley said she was terrifying. The funny thing was I laughed because when the lady brought her over to me, she lifted her up like that and the doll winked at me i am not even lying so it's doing it again now it actually winked at me and i was like right i'm taking her home her eyes look a bit 
dishreveled, shall we say, but she's lovely. She's old. I love an old doll. And then I got these three really cool rag dolls. So this one looks like a puppet. Um, it's got no body at all. It's just got arms and a face. But I think it's really cute. Then I've got these rag dolls here. These ones are full on rag dolls. Now they look old. I don't know how old they are. I don't know anything about them, but I wasn't going to leave them behind, was I, people? Because you know what I'm like with my creepy dolls. And my daughter is now here in the background who hates dolls and is very unhappy with me for bringing them home. She's nodding. Okay. I've also got these sunglasses. Um, I'm going to do a short on these because we need to find out basically about them because um, we're not too sure. I think these look good. So these are... These ones are Chanel. Um, they've got Chanel on the lens. They've got Chanel there. Um, when you open them up, they've got the little like um, Chanel written there. And there's a number, I believe. My eyes are rubbish, so please um, forgive me. But yeah, these are pretty cool. Rob put these on. They look like Elton John, which I thought was hilarious. Um, and then we've got these ones, another pair of Chanel's, I believe. Now, the the arms are a little rickety on this one, but I'll show you inside. Chanel made in Italy, um, and they've got a number there. We're going to do some research on these anyway. They could be good. Um, and some ray bands with, like, an animal print. They've got, like, the risen ray band sign there. They've got mid, no, they haven't got made in Italy there. They've got um, a number there. They've got made in Italy there. Wayfarer. Um, yeah, so if you've got any information about these, let me know. Um, these also, they had something written somewhere else. There, it was right there, look, on the lens, if you can see it. It's very faint. Sorry about my thumb. Um, there's like a real faint RB there on the lens. So, yeah, I think they're really cool. I'm almost convinced they are authentic. And if they are, they'll be good money. Um, we don't normally find designer sunglasses, to be polite, where we live, that are authentic. But, yeah, I think they look all right. And I think I've showed you everything here, haven't I? I've gone through the dolls, the TV... Yeah, the cameras, the makeup bag or the perfume bag, the jewellery box, one bowl, shoes. Yeah, I have. I've showed you everything. And these lovely, lovely dolls. I can't wait to go through them. I think we've done really well. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm really, really excited to test these lamps and the cameras and see what's going on with them and to find out how much everything is worth. I think we've done really well. I'm hoping the lamps will be... 20 to 30 each i think that lamp over there it could be a hundred but again if it works the ug shoes probably 20 to 30 sunglasses could be looking 80 to 100 pound each if they're genuine um the womble i'm not sure I'm probably about 20 pound for that um the versace makeup bag the perfume bag that's been listed at the moment for, I think, £21. Not ours, somebody else's, but I don't know what the swords are. The cameras are around 15 each. The TV, probably 10 And I have no idea about these. I'm, I'm hoping 10 to 20 each on these. Fingers crossed. I might do these as a lot because they're all pretty similar. Um, And put hair, obviously, as a puppet. Whatever. I don't know. And these could bring me a lot of money i said to rob what i'm going to do with these is i'm going to research them individually and if there are any that aren't worth listing individually which is very few and far between with these dolls and um, i'll bundle them and they'll go really fast because monster high dolls are really sought after so i think you can agree <laughs> got some good stuff right i've tested the lamps or should i say me and rob have these two work but this one does not unfortunately um so i'm going to sell that as um parts you know spares and repairs and hope someone will really like it and want it and um, i have also put on some shorts onto youtube and onto my other social medias about these sunglasses 
to see if I can get some information on them. Um, yeah, the cameras, one of them turns on, one of them doesn't. So a bit of a fail there, but I'll see if I can get rid of them anyway. Somebody might buy them, who knows. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's the price you pay in it and the chance you take when you're buying stuff from places like that. But it's not all bad. I mean, our money's definitely safe. We will get our money back, if not more. So it's all good. I haven't filmed up here with my Freddy for quite some time. So I thought I'd get myself up here and do a bit of filming with Freddy. In. Yes. <laughs> Every video should have Freddie in. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the footage. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to cover some more stuff on the next video. I don't want to go into too much, you know, time-wise on each video because I don't want you all to get bored. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you thought of today's video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of what I bought. And I will see you all on the next one. Let me know how your sales are going too. Take care, be kind, stay safe. Ta-ta!